welcome to Mint Explainer. In a renewed push to cut India's dependence on fossil fuels, the central government wants state-run companies to build massive clean energy parks at a cost of around $2 billion each. These parks, uh, which might have both solar and wind projects, will cost around $2 billion each investment and will have built-in incentives to ensure that the states and operators are invested in the success of the projects. The proposed ultra-mega renewable energy power parks of 2000 megawatt each will be set up under the existing solar park scheme which provides the building blocks, primarily land and grid connectivity and will be implemented by a special purpose vehicle. In response to a Mint's query, Anand Kumar, Secretary in Ministry of New and Renewable Energy said, various public sector undertakings have been urged to set up ultra-mega renewable energy plants in major states in collaboration with state governments through SPV mechanisms for these parks. So basically the idea is to get states on board and facilitate requisite clearances. In order to do so, the state governments will be paid 20 paise per unit on electricity generated from the projects over their lifetime. The Power Ministry's Ultra Mega Power Project program was India's earlier attempt to create large power generation capacities at a single location. However, it had its fair share of problems weighed by environmental concerns given they were coal fueled and local resistance. What the state governments effectively here will do, they will facilitate such SPBs formed by central public sector units to identify and acquire land and obtain required statutory clearances. Now, so that the SPVs are able to do this work in an efficient manner, they will be paid park development fee and operations and maintenance charges by the developers, which will be 20 paise per unit on the electricity generated over their lifetime from these projects. These projects can be both wind or solar or might be in hybrid as well, depending upon what the developers want to put up there. These developers will be selected through a tariff-based competitive bids. These ambitious plans come at a time when India is seeking additional clean energy investments of around $80 billion till 2022, which will grow more than threefold to $250 billion during 2023 and 2030. So according to a government note which was reviewed by men, the capacity of such ultra-mega renewable energy power projects, which is UMREP, may be in the range of 2000 megawatt. However, the minimum capacity of any such project at a single location may be 600 megawatt, where there is need for creation of new transmission system by the central transmission utility. The parks connected to any existing transmission system of the central transmission utility or a state transmission utility shall be of the size of 250 megawatt at a single location. Now, the new concept about the floating solar PV parks, the minimum size would be 50 megawatts. These are indeed ambitious plans given India's goal about the green economy and investments in the country's renewable energy sector have actually doubled over the last five years to around $20 billion in 2018. This is perhaps reflective of what's happening in the energy space across the world. The entire energy architecture of the world is changing which in turn is also influencing the investment decisions as well. A case in point being what a London Stock Exchange or the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund have done. If you look at the way that the NDA government is trying to rejig India's energy mix, uh, at present India's entire installed capacity of power generation is around 357,875 megawatts, of which around 22% or 80,000 megawatts is generated through clean energy projects such as solar and wind. India is running one of the world's largest clean energy programs and plans to achieve 175 gigawatts of capacity by 2022 and 500 gigawatts by 2030 as part of its climate commitments. These ambitious plans come at a time when red flags have been raised by the actions of states such as Andhra Pradesh. However, the union government is pretty confident that this plan will find many takers.